A Saskatoon scientist and her work in geophysics researching the Northern Lights is being recognized internationally. She's the first Canadian to win an honour from the Royal Astronomical Society. CTV's Laura Woodward has that story. While these towers on the edge of Saskatoon may look ordinary, they're actually part of an international project called SuperDarn. It's a collaboration of scientists in 10 countries using radar to study the Earth's upper atmosphere. We measure something like a space weather map. So if you think about the, the weather that you see on the news, you know, um, that's for weather that affects the surface. What we measure is the electrified weather in space. Mick Williams helped build Saskatoon's site in 1992 as a summer student. Now she's the director of Super Darn Canada. The big question in McWilliams' research is about the Northern Lights. For years, McWilliams and her team have been asking the question, how and when does the aurora happen? We couldn't look at the conditions in space and say, you know, in two hours and 25 minutes, you will see aurora over Saskatoon. We don't know enough about the process. So the big question is, you know, what causes the aurora. While the colors are beautiful, the aurora can also impact power usage. You know, when there's a lot of aurora, you often get, get power surges and power grids. McWilliams says by better forecasting the aurora, we can better handle the power outages that can come with the northern lights. Her research is getting recognized internationally. McWilliams has become the first Canadian to land an honorary fellowship from the Royal Astronomical Society of the United Kingdom. Just such an amazing surprise and it's really humbling. Like, there's a lot of, you know, pretty big giant in my research field on this list and so it's just so humbling. Laura Woodward, CTV News, Saskatoon.